In this lesson we will create another great example of how to use transparencies in Nero video and the central element of this construction is this picture two hands holding a smartphone and I would like to show in the background a video clip and the same clip again in the display of the smartphone. As a preparation I have made the background of this picture green. This is a pure green, so no red, no blue and 100% green so that I can use the chroma key effect to make the green color transparent. I'm sure you know already from television the blue box or green box effects where a person acts before a blue or a green background that later on is substituted by video footage. This is the same effect and we use blue or green color because these colors doesn't appear in the natural skin tones. This way a person can act in front of the green or blue background and the color effect will not affect the skin of the person. The picture has full HD format 1920 by 1080 pixels and this is the central element of our construction and of course we need a video clip. This is a short clip of Sea Surf about 48 seconds and I will take this clip and drag it onto video track 1 and the first thing that we see is that this clip is smaller than our full HD format. This clip was filmed at only HD resolution 1280 by 720 and so to fill the whole screen we have to scale up this clip and normally we don't want to do this because scaling it bigger than its original size means quality loss. So this is a normally don't do but in this example we can do it because later I will apply a blur effect so the loss of quality will not be visible. So this is an exception at this time we can do it. So I go to the effects palette here is here are the properties scale and I will select scale and fit and our clip now fills the whole screen so now I will zoom in a little bit in the timeline so that we can see more details and now I will get my picture and I will drag it to video track 2 and now I set the display time of the picture to the, the same length as the video clip since this picture is already at full HD format we don't have to do any scaling and since we are looking top down our picture is in front of the C clip and therefore the clip can't be seen and now we will change this behavior we go to the effect palette and in the video effects we have the group keying and here inside the group keying we have the chroma key effect I take it and drag it onto the smartphone picture and now we have the properties on the right side and the only thing we have to do is we have to tell the chroma key effect which color it, it has to make transparent. We can select here from this palette by default it's the blue color but I will use here the color selection tool and I pick the right color directly here from the preview window and you can see instantly our background has disappeared and sometimes it may happen that the green or blue color remains on the borders as you can see it here on the border of the fingers and at this moment we can use the slider for the similarity and to drag a little bit up and so the problem goes away. So now that we have placed our picture we can see the background clip and now we need an additional video track because we would like to have the same clip in the foreground placed on the display of the smartphone. 
So I go to the new track button and select new video track. We need a video track only, no audio tracks. And now back to the media room, videos and I drag the same clip to video track 3. And since video track 3 is the uppermost, we can see it here in the preview window, it's the frontmost. And now I take the handles and make the clip smaller, trying to adjust it and position it exactly onto the display of the smartphone, like this for example. So I think now it's OK. Perfect. And should you have trouble placing the clip here visually with the mouse to the exact position, then you can select it, go to the effect palette, the properties, and there we have the position and the scale parameters, and you can move it up to the exact pixel to its position. So now we see already the effect, but I'm still not happy with this because the background clip and the clip in the smartphone are too dark or better said the hands are too light. So we have to adjust this and I will select the background clip and in the effect palette we use the group adjust and here we find brightness and contrast. So I drag it onto the background clip and the new parameters appear here in the properties on the right side. And now I will set the contrast a little bit higher. Let's say to a more or less for the value 40. You see the background now is a little bit lighter. And now we do the same thing with the foreground clip. Brightness and contrast onto the foreground clip. And I drag it again and now I will lift the contrast up a little bit and now you will see that here we need only a value of 30 because the clip is smaller than the background clip and therefore appears a little bit lighter. And this is OK, I think. This always depends on what type of video clip on the video material. The idea behind it is that the display of a smartphone is illuminated from behind, so maybe the clip in the smartphone should be a little bit lighter than the background. So if you would like, we can drag it up a little bit until 50 and now the whole scene looks much better. Now let's improve the scene further. I would like to add a blur effect to the background clip, so I use the group Sharpen and Blur and we have here the Gaussian Blur effect. I drag it onto the clip and the parameter appears directly on the right side and this effect with its default value of 80 has now blurred the background clip and the clip in the smartphone, which is crisp and sharp right now, gets more focus. So the only thing that is left to do is to make the hands a little bit darker. So we go back to the group adjust, take brightness and contrast effect onto the smartphone picture and this time we use the brightness and drag it a little bit down maybe to the value minus 10. Just a little bit so that the difference in the brightness between the hands and the clip in the smartphone is not so big and so the clip in the smartphone gets even more focus. You see this all is not very complicated. We simply adjust the brightness levels of the different elements so they all fit well together. So let's play back the whole scene and I think this looks really good and the fact that the camera who filmed the clip was not very steady but moved a little bit makes the whole scene much more realistic. So I think this looks very great. And as many ways lead to Rome, I will show you another way to achieve nearly exactly the same result. 
let's go to the media area and to the pictures and here you can see I have a second version of our smartphone picture where the display of the smartphone is green also and let's try it I will move this element to the right to make space I move the foreground clip as well out, out of space and now I take the second smartphone picture which is green in the smartphone display as well adjust the display length and now I take the chroma key effect again selecting the green color and now all is transparent at once I drag this a little bit up the similarity if I move the front clip into to its place again we have the same result as before so this doesn't help but I will show you how we can make a difference since this picture now is transparent in the display area as well we can move it to the top and place the smartphone the display clip below it so now we have nearly exactly the same result with the difference that the clip inside the smartphone is now behind the smartphone picture that means we can see here the round edges of the smartphone display because when we have the clip in front we have real edges not rounded and when the picture with the smartphone is in front and the display clip behind it then we can see the rounded edges of the smartphone so if you pay attention to these details then you can do it this way you need the same elements it's just another way to do it here now we would need only the brightness for the picture setting it to minus 10 and now we're finished the chroma key effect is a very universal tool which allows us to create all sorts of stunning effects once you have learned how it works you can use it in many very different situations and if you need a picture like this smartphone picture you can do it by yourself you can hold your own smartphone and a second person can take a picture of your hands and if you do it in front of a white wall for example then it's easy to edit the background in your favorite image editing application or instead of a smartphone you can use a computer monitor to take a photo of it and then place video clips inside the computer monitor a DVD player or whatever you like and as you see many times things are simpler than they appear at the first look